Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today's challenge, I I had some fun in Battlefield 4. A while back, I did a video where I only killed my enemies with the flashbang. I had a nifty little setup where I'd place C4 next to a camping sniper, I would place C4 next to a stationary tank, and then I would run back a little bit, throw the, the flashbang next to said C4, it would blow it up, I would get a nifty little kill, and because of the way that the mechanics work in Battlefield 4, I'm not exactly sure why, it would show to my enemy and it would show to me that I took them out with a flashbang. It was amazing, I loved it, it was it was incredibly trolly, but it was a hell of a lot of fun. And so, for today's video, I'm once again going to be killing my enemy with a flashbang, but this time, the vehicle and the device of destruction is going to be with the M320. If you've ever used this loadout, which admittedly you probably haven't, like this is honestly one of the worst gadgets in the game, I honestly don't even know why it's in Battlefield 4, we'll get to that here in a second, but if you've ever used this loadout, you'll know that the only way that you're able to kill your enemy with it is to hit your enemy directly in the body. It will do a little bit of splash damage once the flashbang actually detonates. Uh, it doesn't detonate right away when it hits the ground. It has an awesome bounce, and, and you'll notice it every once in a while. But once it does detonate, it will do a little bit of damage. I think the maximum is like upwards of five. It's, it's insignificant. And so really the only way that I'm able to kill my enemy is to line it up, nail the body shot right at the start. The biggest hurdle that I had to overcome was just lining up the shots. Like the M320 has a very slow bullet velocity. It takes a long time for it to get to its destination, but it also has a lot of bullet drop, and so if you're trying to line up a shot or you're trying to take out someone who's even 20 meters away, trying to nail it is, is not an easy task. But I've got to say, if you're able to get four kills directly in a row, and you only have four rounds when you start off with the M320, if you're able to kill four people with those four rounds, it is easily one of the coolest and most satisfying things to do in Battlefield 4. I was getting so comfortable with this loadout that there were rounds where I was nearing the top of the scoreboard. I never thought that I would be this comfortable with the M320. Like, there were moments when I knew that the enemy was going to die. I would fire the shot, I would see the trajectory, and I'd be like, yep, that enemy 20 meters away is going to drop to that M320. I'm going to move on and try to find another target. And <laughs> it is so cool when you're able to predict that and you know that the enemy is going to drop because of your grenade. Like, it is, it is one of the coolest things to do in the game. If you can't tell, I had a hell of a lot of fun with this challenge. Uh, but one of the things that I could not get over during my play session when I was trying to get gameplay for this video was why is the M320 with the flashbang even in the game? Like why is this even an option for the assault class or even let's even take it a step further why is the flashbang in the game right now? I realized that DICE tried to improve the effectiveness of the flashbang they made it so that it was a little bit better a couple of patches ago but if you really look at it this is one of the most useless grenades in the game like maybe every once in a while you'll come across an enemy who uses the flashbang effectively they're able to stun you for that brief half a second you're disoriented you can't see anything around you and they're able to charge into the room and take you out that does happen once in a blue moon, but it happens so infrequently, and the fact that the flashbangs, the, the flash part of it, the, the disorienting part, is so short, there's really never a situation where anyone is able to, to, to take advantage of it and use it tactically. I've been playing a lot of Counter-Strike, and maybe this is the reason why I'm so biased and the reason why I'm, I'm harping on the flashbang so much, because in, in Counter-Strike, it is a very tactical, useful tool in the game. Like, if you if you get flashbang, your entire screen lights up like a Christmas tree, or even more like a Christmas tree. It's like a supernova in front of you, and you have no idea what's just around the corner. And this then allows, if you use it correctly, for the enemy to push on in and take you out. That just simply doesn't happen in Battlefield 4. As much as I want it to, as much as I want it to be a little bit better and use the grenade tactically, because of the limitations of the grenade right now, it is, it is just not a useful option in the game. And so, this is where I'd like to get your opinion on this. Personally, I would like to see the flashbang's flash component of it, the disorienting aspect, increase by a half a second or a second. Make it so that if I throw it into a room and there's three people looking directly at it, make it so that if I run on in, I can kill every single one of them as long as I'm good enough. Because right now, you can't do that. You're able to kill the first guy, but then the two other guys, like the flash component, just disappears half a second later. They have that weird section where it slowly fades away, but let's be realistic. That fade screen is, is not obtrusive at all. You know exactly what's in front of you. And while sure your screen might be a little wider, you know exactly where the enemy is. Make it so that I can rush in, 
take those three guys out as long as I'm good enough and make and allow me to use the the flashbang tactically. Uh, not only that, but this would also increase the effectiveness of the M320 version of it because right now the only situation I could see the M320 being viable is to launch this a fair distance away. If you see a couple enemies that are maybe around an objective, but you're using a close encounter weapon, you fire off the M320 flashbang to disorient them for a couple of seconds. That allows you to close the gap or maybe to move from objective to objective or co from cover to cover, get up close and personal, and then take them out. But right now, because the, the, the stun effect or because the disorienting effect is so insignificant, it's like, sure, maybe every once in a while that can be useful, but if you really get down to it, it is just a pile of crap, and I can never, I can honestly never see why you would ever want to use the M320. Uh, the one redeeming quality, though, of this loadout, and I have to mention it because it's simply amazing, is that when you shoot the flashbang out of the M320, it bounces, and it bounces hard. Like, you guys have probably noticed, when I miss an enemy and it comes, and he hits the ground, it bounces off the surface of the ground and launches, like, 10 feet in the air. Like, it's incredible. And because of this potential, and if you're able to bounce it off of a wall and it hits an enemy directly in the body, you still get the kill. I wasn't exactly sure if this was the case. Like, there were some times when I was going for some long ball shots, and I was like, I'm... Not exactly sure how I got that kill because it felt like I, I I didn't aim correctly. I felt like I was I was lining up short, but it was simply because the grenade was bouncing off the ground, slamming into their body, and then securing the kill. And so if you're simply amazing, or if you're trying to get some trick shots off, technically, technically you can bounce this off a wall and hit and slam someone right in the face and secure the kill. So that is the one redeeming quality of this loadout. Uh, but other than that, I am thrilled that I gave this challenge a go. Like initially, I didn't think it was gonna be all that enjoyable. I thought I would be able to get a couple kills here and there. But once I started to get the hang of things, once I started to get go on three or four kill streaks, I was like, yep, I'm hooked. This is simply amazing. Uh, but that's about it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think about the flashbang. Do you think that the effectiveness should be increased so that we don't have useless gadgets in the game that just adds fluff and it's just a selling point? Let me know down below. Uh, also, before I go, uh, let me know what loadout you would like me to try next. This was one of your guys' recommendations, and so if you have a particular setup or a particular weapon combination that you think would be a lot of fun, let me know down below. Uh, but until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.